view Jane Lewis, view Riolo project Tavir Devodol. My project wedi bod yn redeg, oedd ar dau mil a dideg. I'm Jane Lewis, I'm the project manager for Growing the Future. It's a project that's been running since 2012 um, with the aim of helping people to learn about how to grow their own vegetables um, within their own gardens, but also working with groups to enable them to learn as a group how to grow vegetables and hopefully eat the vegetables themselves and possibly sell them within their own communities. O the Armar project wedi dechrau, ni wedi rhedeg dros 5,000 o cwrsiau dros Cymru i gyd. Over the lifetime of the project, we've run over 5,000 courses um, across the whole of Wales. Growing the Future has been a great opportunity. Um, it's been a good opportunity for local people to come and take part and learn how to grow veg or to expand their skills. But it's also been great uh, because we're linked with hubs all the way across Wales. So that's an opportunity for people in different areas to uh, get the same skills. But it's also an opportunity for us as trainers to link up with other people who are growing veg and teaching how to grow veg. I came along because I want to start growing salad leaves in my garden and because I wanted to get the best information I possibly could get. And I feel that here at the Botanical Gardens, they've got the expertise, they've got the knowledge, and I'm hoping to benefit from that. I've got a small um, place uh, out in the country with about half an acre, and about a quarter of that, I suppose, is uh, into uh, vegetable plants, basically. I've been put to quite a few of these courses in Denmark Farm, which is quite close to where I live. And, uh, oh, they're fantastic, they're absolutely fantastic. I moved down here nearly two years ago and uh, I hadn't done any serious gardening before so I really wanted uh, experience and uh, so uh, that's why I've come along to the course. The best single course I've been on was at Denmark Farm, it was one of your polytunnel courses and that was wonderful and I'm getting a polytunnel next week because of that and met um, three other, there were a number of people on the course, but I met three other people with polys who said come and have a look at mine and so far I've been to see two of them. Um, so there are spin-offs, you're kind of networking a bit in the gardening world, you're making kind of new contacts, new friends as well with a similar interest, seeing how they do things and they always come up with different ideas. It's close, so it's accessible, it's not too pricey when there is a price and I feel really confident that the people here know what they're talking about. They're very friendly, very approachable. I'm the Growing the Future trainer here and have been so for the last two and a half years um, and Riverside Community Garden is one of the community hubs which have been set up around Wales. Growing the Future project has, has been sort of amazing for, for hubs like this, uh, community gardens, uh, trainers who, who can offer sort of the community growing um, horticultural skills and confidence needed um, by the general public um, to, to sort of get out there and start growing. Okay, we've been coming along every month um, since February, I suppose. Since explained. February. Yeah. Um, just to learn what to do at each stage in the garden because we, we are interested in gardening and since coming to these courses we have uh, extended our growing space so the lawn is disappearing slowly and we have more and more raised beds. And I've found um, it's been a fantastic opportunity uh, for locations such as Riverside um, because we've been able to offer gr um, growing courses whereas previously we couldn't. It gave us a new revenue stream, it gave us an opportunity to reach out to a wider audience. Um, we found we had a few more volunteers coming from the garden and actually some of our volunteers uh, were getting trained up throughout the courses as well. It's the hands-on part of the course that we we enjoyed and we appreciate. Yeah, because we, we're both uh, not very experienced gardeners, a, a few years, but we, we haven't got a vast experience, so courses like this are, are, are useful. It, uh, it gives us information and meeting other people brings enthusiasm as well, which is nice. Now, Growing the Future project has been supportive to the attendees in many ways. Um, Everybody assumes it's all about horticultural knowledge and, and, and just general sort of horticultural skills from it. 
But actually what I find from, from my course is it's the confidence that people gain from it. Um, the networks they form, the questions they ask, it's all about them having a bit more self-esteem and confidence to put that seed in the soil and just give it a go. Um, yes, they can get some sort of expert and um, experienced support of what might be going wrong or how to do things differently. It might introduce them to things they've never heard of before, but really it's that magic confidence that they need just to give it a go. Growing food is really important to people, not only because it helps with their health, it, it helps them develop an understanding of where food comes from, the different benefits of different types of health. Just being in the garden makes people feel better. We have good research evidence for that. And of course the exercise, the gentle exercise, or the more vigorous exercise if you're digging, that comes from being in a garden and growing food is a huge added benefit. I, I'm with Men Cup Cymru Lot. Um, I work for allotments in Carmarthen. Um, I do all the sort of gardening and I do other places as well. And I come here for a reason. I want to grow how to know how to grow peas and beans properly and how to do them really. I took part in the course because it seemed uh, the ideal opportunity to learn about local growing conditions, varieties that worked times of sowing and harvesting and the sort of quirky nature uh, of the climate in this area. The courses have certainly made a difference to us as a couple developing the forest garden here but also in the B&B not only in producing produce that we can use but also lively topics of conversation with many people who come in seeking more information or with information to give us. Many people coming to this area are interested in the landscape and in what is possible to grow and uh, in, in these conditions. So um, we spend a lot of time talking about the, uh, what we're doing here and, um, and our expertise in terms of talking about it has been enhanced hugely by the, the, um, the materials that were covered on the course. Mm. I'm here to learn about bees. We've learned about the, the hives and uh, yeah, I think I'm interested to see what goes on inside and see real bees now. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, my father used to keep bees when I was a child and I thought it was quite interesting and it's sort of a family affair. We're all interested in them, so I'd like to learn a little bit more about them. After this course, I think uh, it really will encourage me to learn more about bees and take it up in, in the home. And it was very interesting, so you know, it, was, it was good looking into the future, really, give us a bit of insight on what to do when we get our own bees. So I've been coming along to the Grow Your Own um, courses since February last year. Um, I come along because I have an interest in growing our own fruit and veg. Uh, for a personal use, um, but I wanted to learn more uh, and expand on what we do. Over the course of last year I learnt uh, an awful lot and uh, we started planning for this year's production. Um, as, a as a part of that planning we've now got two polytunnels which are fully uh, stocked and uh, we are now uh, growing a lot of our own vegetables under cover which gives us almost all year round um, food for the table. I've come here today to this course because I've never had any success with growing herbs and it's something I've always wanted to be able to do for cooking and scent and beauty products. So uh, I'm hoping to learn from the experts today. The product has been very useful uh, from someone who has no real knowledge uh, prior to this. Um, it's enabled me to plan ahead. The courses have been 
aimed at a sensible level uh, with a lot of practical skills um, and it's created a, a support network of other interested people in and around that we can go to for, for help and uh, mutual support. I went to a lot of the courses last year um, and this is probably my fourth course so I, there's a steep learning curve with growing plants um, so this is just one of the many courses that I've attended. I was able to get a little bit of 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 a little bit and a plant EW Boydi Hina, and I keep up with my Boydi and Dort Hevid. My wife and I run uh, this uh, guest house, the Reading Guest House, and we've been doing it for about um, seven or eight years now. So I first heard about the Growing the Future courses when we were having coffee in a cafe in Landod, the Herb Garden Cafe in Landrindod Wells, and uh, just saw a leaflet and um, thought, yeah, I really need to understand what I'm doing. I was started to grow vegetables, but I wasn't really sure what I was doing. so. Um, I uh, signed up and uh, took them there. The courses have made a great difference to the business. Um, certainly from, from my point of view what I learned from the courses was the um, I, get, I gained the confidence of trying anything and not worrying if things don't work. It's not always my fault, quite often it's the weather or whatever. So, um, so we gained uh, the ability to grow a lot of vegetables and fruit. This is all produced from stuff from the garden um, and we're continuing to uh, grow more and more each year. It's been really brilliant because I've been trying to do a garden for five years and this has really inspired me to get going and I've actually started doing my garden. I'm really pleased. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a great opportunity um, to learn with other people that are probably at the same level that I am um, and just to, to talk to a knowledgeable tutor about some of the problems that I'm having with my garden um, and just being able to learn in a safe environment really with somebody who can point out where all my, my mistakes have been. Well I think the guests enjoy the fact that uh, the produce we serve them has come either from the garden if we've grown it or obviously, obviously local, we use local bacon, local eggs, local sausages and all that sort of thing, wherever we can get anything local. But for all the vegetables and fruit, it's fantastic to be able to say to them, this is from the garden, I picked it an hour ago, or whatever. Uh, and they love that. And I got so much from them, I must say it's been really very, very interesting indeed. And the tuition, first class. What's been very surprising with Growing Future is that many people who grow and actually love growing food don't feel very confident about it. They assume everybody else is better. One of the added benefits we've had is not only have people been able to grow and be participating in courses with experts and, and amateurs, they've compared their skills, they've gained confidence in doing so. And we know from our research um, as a result of this uh, project that people have shared that skill with others. They've actually shared it with their family, they grow more food as a result. So it's a really wide win to health and food security uh, for the country. Growing the future, it's not just to be about being out in the garden and uh, attending our practical courses. We've also developed 22 online courses uh, in English and in Welsh, which you can enjoy at your leisure, um, from growing your own to understanding herbs, green manures. Um, every course um, goes into a great detail about how, how you can do this yourself in your own garden. Um, it gives you all the learning tools in order to understand this. Um, and there's also a crib sheet which you can print off at the end um, to, to follow, obviously, when you're out in your own garden. Um, they're, they're very quick to follow. The, the, the 22 courses are there online for everybody to enjoy. This project has certainly put us on the map. It's encouraged people across Wales, and we are a garden for the people of Wales, to kind of know where we are. It's encouraged them to come and to visit and to realise that we're here to help develop 
their skills in horticulture or just gardening. I'm a ride in a way to do all the pubs we did with our project. And I'm going to be so proud to be board and part of the project with the Moin High Daughter Crusier.